What's going on everyone? It's been nearly four months since we last saw ya, but we're back with an all new project, the RevD RDX. months of anticipation, the Rev-D RDX chassis is here and wasting no time jumping into some serious laps on track. This is the epitome of a plastic fantastic and I guarantee this thing is going to be knocking on some serious doors at drift tracks all around the world. If you need to get one for yourself, make sure you hit up your local hobby shop and tell them to Give me an RDX. Starting with the build, these instructions could possibly be the best set ever provided from a company that I've seen. The little tips sections that they supplied with specific parts is incredible. This is probably going to be a very welcoming and enjoyable experience for newer builders, while experienced builders will appreciate the ease in which this kit is built. I completed mine in under 5 hours with electronics installation and even took some time to fix a couple things I did wrong. All said and done, the car has a great weight balance and came in at a bench weight of 1225 grams, 3367 weight bias. I also really appreciated these clearly printed parts diagrams. This is going to be a huge benefit to new people and first time kit builders. Building kits is awesome and RevD is certainly going to make it less challenging for them to do so. Another great addition is the explanation of those points when you would finish building something and have extra parts. They actually include notes in the instructions to indicate at which step you will use those. So to set them aside, make sure not to lose them. That's huge. Bravo. I think you guys might be the first company to do something like that in the RC Drift game. As for the setup, we followed the instructions to a T, except for on the rear mounting position of the shock, we opted to move it to the innermost hole to create a little more droop, which definitely seems to help cars perform a little better on our super slippery concrete surface. The plastic shocks are quite possibly the smoothest plastic bodied shocks ever created. Paired with the supplied 5 weight oil, the red o-rings and black bladders, the performance is some of the nicest I've ever seen from plastic shops. As you may notice, we repurposed our old motor and ESC from the RTR project into this, 
further proving the quality stuff will last and can travel between multiple setups. With the S-Bus configuration on our Jarvis XX paired with a 7pm radio, it made adjustments a breeze and we have plenty of power on tap with our 10.5 turn fledge motor. The car drives great on these electronics. The battery tray is very simplistic and well thought out. I love the upper braces to keep your low center of gravity pack snugly packed and adding the ability to run either shorty or standard packs in a parallel or perpendicular orientation is a great feature to allow fine tuning to your local track surface. The snap fit end links that are supplied are the cherry on top. Now when looking at the front end you may notice that the knuckles are in a different orientation than you would typically see. The stopper is actually contacting the upper arm while the lower ball stud for the steering linkage is hanging rather than on top of the knuckle. It's an interesting change but when paired with the scale hex rotor and brake caliper it's a really nice aesthetic touch to an otherwise mechanical chassis. After a night of hard laps in multiple drivers hands, I can say we all were shocked with the performance and ability of this chassis. Considering it had the instruction booklet set up on fixed links and a lock diff, we were all in agreement that this little car had something special. We also were in agreement that swapping out our differential for something Yokomo based Either a ball or possibly a CLSD from Rhino Max Racing will make this car even more capable on our track surface. By setting their market price in the sub $300 range, the Rev D RDX is going to make itself an absolute staple in the drift community for years to come. The new Plastic Fantastic is here, and I hope you get a chance to try one out. Make sure you stop by your local drift track, tell them Scale Science sent you. Keep it so cooler, and make sure you tune in next time as we introduce the second new project of 2023.